Hello everyone, Obi Wendang here and welcome back to Let's Play Timberborn. In today's episode, well, we reached level 9 last episode. Didn't even realize that. I think that's the campfire. In today's episode, we want to populate um, our second building. Let's just give them some barren names. At the moment, they just call District 1 and 4 for some reason. Let's call that uh, Riverside District that makes sense um, and then that one well lakeside will be the district down here at the lake so we will call that um, oh yeah dam dam city district that's what's going to be in a second so um, we have six open positions water is looking good everything is filled up um, drive is almost done or halfway done that's fine so let's set up the distribution routes um, we'll use this for berries and for water uh, water is right here and then to this we will send logs and we will also send planks. Planks like this. Um, and we'll take a look at the distribution limits. So um, how this works is that um, if you set a number for low, that means that everything below this limit will not be exported. So if we set this limit to, let's say 50, which for berries makes no sense, um, that means that they will not import or that they will always keep 50 berries inside of the district and we will do this for water just in case uh, we want to have at least 100 water staying in the district and um, the value for high means that they will stop importing once they reach this level so for the export district we only need to set low to make sure that always some of the material we export stays in the district uh, i want to keep 50 and 100 i think that's fine and um, for the incoming district we don't need to do any distribution limits yet they will just stop importing uh, once they reach 100 so yeah you can see stuff is already coming in a berry should be the first thing to fill up water is also coming which is great um, if you select or if you not don't select any district you can see the resources globally but if you select a building inside a district you can see the resources and also the population limits for that specific district so in the riverside district we have four uh, vacancies and all these resources and if you click this one you can see we have two vacancies no beavers um, 100 berries 22 water 51 logs and no planks which is exactly what we expected to happen so now all we need to do really is um, wait for some more beavers to come in so that we can start migrating maybe we can already migrate four of these beavers over yeah they will um, let's take a look did we set this to high priority no that not this one needs high priority and the farmhouses all need medium worker priority so as long as we have um, food and water available we should be fine with this amount of farm fields um, let's also make sure that the gatherers are set to medium. Yeah, two gatherers, four farmhouses, and three pumps should be okay. So we can migrate. Uh, to migrate beavers, you select the source district you want to migrate beavers from. Oh, wait a second. Let's get this up to four. Um, and then you click the migrate population. You select the, uh, the target. And then you select the number of beavers you want to send over. We have four vacancies at the moment, but I will send five beavers just in case uh, one of them dies because they don't reproduce automatically, as you know. We need these breeding pots for that. And now we have five beavers in our new district, and they should immediately start working on. Well, now it's 
it's nighttime. Yeah, I did exactly what I told you in the last episode not to do, send them during nighttime. Um, but it doesn't matter. We already have food and water um, available, so that should not be an issue. We'll now wait for them uh, to collect the goods, start building up all of these things. They will now start to transport the water over um, from the drop-off point to the water tank. And they will also transport log to the log piles, which is great. Um, I wonder if it makes sense to build a warehouse at the moment, but I don't think so. Okay, so now all we need to do is <laughs> wait for planks to come in. Um, and yeah, plane production should start any second now. There comes the water wave, which means they start spinning. We will get planks. Perfect. This is not done yet. Demolish the remaining resources. Is someone sleeping on the ground? Oh no, he's just exhausted. Really? Go to bed, dude. I like this skyscraper structure thingy right here. It looks really great. How much people live in here? 51? We don't have any more housing, right? Oh no, even more. Uh, let's cover that. That's, yeah, that has, the entire structure has room for 60 beavers. That's crazy. Okay, now all of this is done, which means as soon as we build this path, um, the district should be able to reach the dam right here, which is good. I want to have this built. And yeah, now what we are, we are now waiting for planks to come in. Um, we're now at, at 50. I think we can change the distribution limits um, to maybe 25. We don't need any planks at the moment anyways. So let's do this and send the planks over so this district can start working. We need these to be built and we need this to be built. Um, oh, let's also set all of these down to zero. Let's see, where is the water currently sitting at? Yeah, I'm not sure if that might be the best idea to start with this place. Uh, wait a second, that is not good. Um, the, the problem is, as soon as we finish these levees, um, the water will... will overflow this level right here which means it will flow all the way throughout here uh, through here and then flood the entire district and we definitely don't want that to happen so what we need to do is we need to set high priority to this and this and then um, we need this levy right here uh, to be built first so let's do that should now prioritize uh, this over anything else. Levies are relatively easy to build with just logs and we have lots of them. Um, and yeah, and I think we want the distribution limits in, in this one. Uh, we don't, let's set this to 200. So they should now start working on these levees. They do. We have four people, four beavers doing the work, uh, which is okay. We still have three vacancies and one unemployed beaver. How does that work? Oh, the one unemployed beaver is the fifth beaver in this district. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, fine. So population looks good. We have 800 science. Yeah, science coming way too fast, I think. I'm not sure what we need with what we need to do with all the science. I think we can maybe start making gears in a second. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. We can start making gears in one workshop right here. Let's do that. Uh, will we be able to get the power over here? 
right here. Let's do it. Let's do it right here. That should be fine. Select for demolition. And then we will unlock the gear workshop. Um, because with gears, we have access to the large water tank primarily. I'm not sure what else we need to do with gears. Because metal is still quite a way um, away before we actually need it. Water, food, looking good. Also have sunflower seeds. There's still beavers sleeping on the ground. Not sure why. Don't make it to bed early enough. Three of these levees are already done. That's good. Yeah, this huge amount of beavers coming out of this this complex is, it looks hilarious. Okay, so now we have that. Uh, three open vacancies. Uh, I'm just wondering, we might be able to start a second row of uh, power supply if we need to. How much power do we have? This one requires 90, right? 120 okay yeah that that should still be okay using this amount of power planks of uh, power wheels water wheels okay the dam right here is done levy right here is almost done Wondering where we go next. I think I'd like to have this. Um, and then we can harvest all of these trees because they will be flooded anyways. So let's do this next after these levees are done. Take a look at the edge branch. Yeah, that's perfect. And build some gatherer flex and some lumberjack flex over here. Just grab all of these trees. Let's go to wood cutting and just clear this entire area. For that we need more beavers. Currently only have five. Um, and if you start building in this general area, we might need to start thinking about how we make this into an actual dam city. Because this building is not protecting us from flooding. And I'm also not sure if these buildings will. So you can see there are gaps. So I'm not sure, even though it says this is solid, which only refers to the top of the area, um, if if we have one of these buildings with the backside facing the water, if it will actually stop water flow, or if we need to put a wall of levees behind it, I'm not 100% sure. Um, if you look at the um, at the barracks, you can also see that water should flow through it. So I think we might need a, a wall of levees behind it. So we should we need to be very careful where we place buildings. Um, but what we can do right here is we can have a single lumberjack because we have five workers here, right? So this guy can already cut uh, all of these trees. Ah, they stopped in the middle of the night. Okay, these levies are done. Great. So now they can finish these over here. Perfect. Uh, 90 water in this district, 89 berries. That's fine. Yeah, the main district looking good. 218, 220. Yeah, water levels are still rising. Yeah, we now have tons of logs, which is great. So we can now really start doing some work. I think we might be able to uh, create a second 
create a second row house right here. I guess most of these things are temporary. We will rearrange that once we start actually building the dam. So you should now have a lot of stuff to do. Oh, there are no unemployed beavers in the district. Really? Oh, there are only two. Yeah, as I said, they start to die. So I want to have 10 in total, so let's bring seven over. Again, at the beginning of the night, of course. Yeah, stupid me. Everyone is working in construction in this district. At the moment it's called a construction site district. Okay, they're now building the levees. And as soon as they are finished. Ooh, I can already see some green. Ah, look at that. It's all already overflowing. Yeah, because the water is not cannot squeeze through this uh, tiny gap right here so it's already starting to back to fill up this area behind us yeah no yeah look at that that's what i'm talking about what's your problem oh beaver is stranded Really? Dude, um, wait a second. Uh, I think what we need is we need a way for you. Just like that. Please build this with top priority. Yeah, there comes the construction beavers. <laughs> yeah, he was on the wrong side of the levee when it was constructed. Okay, stairs are now done, you should be, yeah, perfect, okay. So, let's see, now we have this nice artificial lake, which is looking good. Um, and I think we can, uh, we can increase the height of the floodgates to one, one and a half, uh, to 0 0.5 meters. Yeah, because it, at the moment it just barely fills up this level um, but we need to be careful because if it overflows right here this is not a barrier so the edge of the map is not a natural barrier for water which means if it reaches this area it will start flowing in this direction and no water will go down this way because it will all leave the map in this direction i had that on a, on a test game with the with the other folk and um, the folk tales um, and that was not great Okay, but that's looking good so far. So now um, we have eight beavers in here. So we need to s uh, maybe it's time for them to start um, making their own beavers. Let's add a single breeding pot right here so they can start breed their own people in this district. And they are now eight. Yeah, we'll migrate it. Two more over. Two. Um, and now we are losing beavers faster than we get them, I think. We are now at 59 in total. Six breeding pots, seven breeding pots. Hope that's enough. So let's build the lumberjack flags right here. Yeah, that was, I, I think 
three was too much, but that's fine. Okay, we now have this done. Um, now let's see what next. Uh, we now need to bring over Um, let's see, we definitely need levies right here, and then the question is, we definitely need them right here, so we need to reroute this area, yep, perfect, that's fine, uh, I think we can get rid of all of these trees, yeah, get rid of all of them. this space available um, and with these levies in place we can then if we, if we have these in place we need to bring beavers over to this area to build uh, levies all the way right here so we might need an additional construction site dam uh, it does conduct construction site district but I think that is something for the next episode Come on, hurry that up. I want this to be done before the end of this episode. And we are already two minutes over, over the time limit. Yeah, they are now doing the logging, which is good. This is not top priority. Why are you still building these? They cannot reach it. Oh, because they cannot build from stairs, right? Yeah, I think that's the problem. They need a way uh, to reach this. Okay, so we need to we need to redo the cons uh, the construction side of the dam right here. Uh, but that's fine. We need to move this down a little bit um, and have maybe have an intermediate platform. Or build a bridge across uh, I don't know yet uh, we will see um, that's it for today's episode thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time goodbye